Okay, today is Tuesday, 8-30-22. You should have already completed the warm-up. We're going to go over it. I checked your homework already. Okay. We're going to go over some a couple procedures again just to make sure that we understand what we're supposed to do when we come into the classroom. I think we've got that covered. Um, then we're going to talk about some goal setting. We'll have a discussion about goal setting. I'm going to introduce the unit to you. And one of the first things that we're going to do in the unit is the real number system. Okay. Your homework for tonight, we're going to label as Tuesday. You have a homework help video that's going to be on Canvas or Remind. So please make sure if you need help, watch the video. If you don't, it's fine. Okay. I can. Yes, sir. That's okay. Thank you for telling me. Again, some of you are able to log into Canvas because some of you text me from Canvas yesterday. Others cannot, but everyone can log into Remind. When you download Remind, you just sign in with Google and all of your teachers' names will pop up. You don't need a code for Remind. It'll say sign in with Google and that's what you do and it'll pop up. Yeah. Okay, if you still struggle with that, um, Tomorrow, just, just let me know, and I'll see if I can find a code for you. Remind Canvas. All right, so those of you that can log into Canvas, that's another place that it will be, all right, along with today's video, okay? I'll pause for the calls to give you a chance to write. Don't forget, we wrote down the essential questions, okay? And the assignments that are due, of course, this week is the warm up and the homework. We do have a pretest on Friday. We'll do that in class. All right, let's look at our warm up. Let's look at our warm up. Okay, we're going to go over it. It is it's accidentally was copied that way. So sorry about that, y'all. All right, so we're going to combine like terms. We're going to combine like terms. We're adding, which terms here are like terms? We got 3x plus 6x plus 8. Which terms are alike? That means they have the same variables, set of variables attached, and the same exponents that are also attached to those variables. Yes. 3x plus 6x. What's 3x plus 6x? There are nine x's. And then we got plus eight. This is our answer. We cannot combine terms. We cannot add or subtract terms that are not alike. Raise your hand if you got that right. Perfect. Okay. Let's look at number two. All right. What terms are alike? What two sets of terms are alike in this problem? Raise your hand. Yes. Y. Oh, wait, 12Y and negative Y. Very good. 12Y. And negative 1y. There's automatically a coefficient. And what's the definition for coefficient? Anybody remember co the word coefficient from last year? Coefficient is the number that is attached to the variable. What's the variable? What's a variable? It, it is, but what does it look like? What does a variable look like? It's a letter. It's a letter. It's an unknown or letter that represents a number that we don't know, right? Okay. All right. So 12y minus 1y. What does that give us? 11y. What else can we add together? I'm going to do circles for that. Negative 3 plus 9. What's negative 3 plus 9? Positive or negative? Positive. The absolute value of 9 is greater than the absolute value of a negative 3. What's absolute value mean? When I say absolute value of 9 is greater than the absolute value of negative 3, what am I saying there? Not quite. 
No, it's not because it's positive. Yes. Mm, no, not quite. Do y'all remember? Absolute value is how far a number is away from zero. That's what it means. To, the absolute value of a number is how far it is away from zero. I'm going to write out to the side. Absolute value bars look like this. Let's do negative three. What's the absolute value of negative three? How far is negative three away from zero? Three. What's the absolute value of a positive four? Four. It's four away from zero. What's the absolute value of negative 100? A hundred. It's a hundred spaces away from zero. Any questions about absolute value? Okay. All right. So here, negative, we said it already. Negative three plus nine is a positive six. Raise your hand if you got that right. Okay. Good. Number three, let's combine like terms there. What terms can we combine here? Somebody different, I think, yes. Say the first number again, baby. Negative one in. Negative one in, okay. 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 Sorry, I boxed in the wrong one at the wrong time. All right, so now let's do two of them at a time. What is negative one plus 50, well, yeah. Negative 1n plus 15n gives you what? 14. That gives you 14n, right? And then we, negative or positive? Positive. positive good. Um, then 14n minus 4n, what does that give you? 10n. 10n. Positive or negative? Positive. Very good. Okay, so we got those out the way. All right. What are the other terms that we can combine? Yes. Very good. 3 and then 20. And what does that give you? Positive or negative? Positive. Raise your hand if you got that right. Perfect. Okay. All right. Number four. What are the like, somebody different, what are the like terms there? Go ahead. And? Oh, negative 3B. Oh, no, you're right. These two. I'm looking at something else. All right, so let's do these first, like you said. Sorry, baby. All right, so what does that give us? What's 6A plus 11A? Good job. Okay, so we got those. And then lastly, he said the last two. What's negative 3B minus 8B? Negative 11B. Raise your hand if you got that right. Perfect. Any questions, big or small, ask them all. What's up, baby? Are you sure? Oh, okay. I thought you raised your hand. Okay. All right. And this one is the same. Um, so you could have just marked this out. Sorry about that. I didn't even realize that. All right. Tonight's homework is the back of what we did last night. We're going to label this Tuesday. Tonight, we're working on multiplying and dividing decimals. This is Tuesday's homework. Tuesday's date is 8.30.22. And again, the homework help is going to be sent to you in mind this afternoon, and it's already on Canvas. Question. Sit up, baby. Are you feeling okay, though? Are you okay? Okay. All right. Now we're going to put this in our folder. Which side of the folder do we put this on? Very good. The one that says work to do. All right, let's go over a couple. Yes, baby. Night by night, long as you get it done by Friday. I do want you to do, don't like, uh, if you go jump ahead, that's fine. Or be on time, that's good. But don't fall behind because it gets overwhelming. Okay. You can do more tonight. All right. Any questions about that? Any other questions? Okay. All right. So uh, a couple things that we need to go over. Do not forget when you come into the classroom, 
you immediately put your cell phone in the caddy. If it's a calculator day, I'll tell you at the door, please pick up a calculator. Your calculator number and your uh, cell phone number are, the, are your seat number. Okay, they're all the same, so we don't get confused. Any questions about that? We do not go to the bathroom in this class. We go to the bathroom in third period. We go to the bathroom in fourth period, either before or after or during lunch. That depends on your lunch teacher. They have their own set of rules. And then we go in sixth period with our teacher. Any questions about bathroom break? Okay, let's see. Locker break, we do first thing in the morning. If you're, when you're coming in down the hall, if you're on the left side coming in, you can go to your lockers first if your homeroom is on the left side. On the right side, you have to go into your classroom and wait to 720 for top lockers, 725 for bottom lockers because traffic is on that side of the hallway on the right coming in. Any questions about that? Anytime that you're out in the hallway and you're not with the teacher, not with the class, you have to have a, a lanyard. The bathroom lanyard is blue. The hall, sometimes the teacher will give you a red hallway pass lanyard. That's fine. Breakfast lanyard is going to be that yellow. It's only two people um, per homeroom that should be out for your um, breakfast. Any questions about that? Yes, baby? Mm -hmm. You have to wait. If you're on this side of the hallway, you wait. That side, they can go because traffic flows this way. Okay. Anybody else? All right, good. Okay, so now we're going to do a little bit of um, talking about at our table some goal setting things. So uh, we're going to choose a leader. Okay, one leader per table, and that's the person that is going to be the spokesperson for your table and to make sure that everybody is on tap to tap. Okay, for today, the people that are in the middle are going to be the leader. Okay, the people in the middle, this section in the middle, are going to be the leader. Okay, um, the people, the outside person here is going to be the leader, one of those two people. Okay, doesn't matter. And the outside here, one of those two people are going to be the leader. Questions, comments, or concerns? All right, so these are your, let me stop the video, sorry. These are the questions I want you to answer at your table. All right, so in our interactive notebook, if you haven't already put your name on the sheet, please go ahead and put your name on there. What did I do with my other Please go ahead and put your name, let me show you. Oh, good. He hadn't written anything yet. Put your name here. First and last name needs to go here. Okay. Then the last page that we paste in was this page right here. This is what I want you to work on here. You're going to be setting some goals. You should at least have one of those. Be nice if you had two, but you at least need one. And I want you to fill out what that goal is. Okay. What is that goal? Then your step two, you need to make a plan. Yes, baby? Yes, you can. Give me a second, okay? Um, step two, you're going to make a plan. This is breaking your goal up into smaller goals, okay? So think about what smaller goals you need to achieve the big goal that you have. Step number three is you need to look ahead, okay? You need to identify what resources you need to achieve these goals. Your teacher, you know, maybe them homework help videos, maybe a tutor, just different things that you think that you might need, okay? And you think about what is your personal need that you need for you to be successful, all right? Visualize your success, and it's right here. How will you know that you have achieved your goal? And that's what you need to write there. Any questions, comments, or concerns? All right, so this is what I need for you to fill out. As you have questions, raise your hand so that I can walk over to you and, and help address those concerns. But this is not the time 
that we talk. This is our think time and our write because I do want you to take it seriously. Okay. Any questions before I start walking around? All right. Very good. I'm going to pause the video. Okay. A couple things. The reason why I had us to share our goals and to create a goal sheet, because when you don't have a direction, you don't have a direction that you're going into and you're not focused, the plan is, is failure. Okay. If you plan to succeed, you plan to stay ahead, you say up front, this is where I need to be, then you're going to get there faster than if you have no plan in mind at all. You start wondering all over the place. Okay. So we know, everybody knows up front that the main thing with this class is that you have to make, you have to maintain a C average. Okay. And you have to pass the test at the end of the year with a C or better. Everybody knows that. Okay. So it's super important that we have a plan in place. When you feel yourself slipping, okay, you need to go back to your goal. You go back to your steps. Am I focused? Am I doing everything that I said that I was going to do? If I am, then I need to add some more things, some other ideas. Maybe I need to come to tutoring. I didn't hear people say that. But maybe I need to come to tutoring. All right. A lot of people said they need to focus. A lot of people said they need to practice. OK, there are a lot of different things that we can do to make sure that we obtain our goals. All right. Do not. The worst thing that you can do is just give up. Don't ever give up. That should never be an option for you is to give up. All right. This first unit that we're doing is intro to functions. We've already pasted this into our notebook. These are the different essential questions as we go along. Some of them you will see on the board. Some of them I've reworded to make it, it a more student friendly because some of the essential questions aren't very student friendly. So these are the ones that they give us, but I turned them into something that is a little more student friendly for us to understand and be able to answer. At the bottom are the vocabulary words that you should understand from the unit. Okay, it is a lot in this particular unit. But the next unit is even longer than this one is crazy, but it's super duper important. OK, if you get to a place that you don't understand something, don't wait to the last minute to say, OK, Miss Reyes, I, I really do need some tutoring. OK, because the tutoring is done virtually or if you need to meet in person, we can meet in person. But I don't want anybody to make the excuse that. I can't come to tutoring because I don't have transportation or I do a lot of activities out of school. You have to prioritize. OK, school should be at the top of your list. All right. So make sure that you understand that tutoring is available and it doesn't have to be immediate. If you are doing other activities, then just say, Miss Reyes, can we meet at such and such time? OK, and we can make provisions for that because I know that it's super important for us to have extracurricular activities, but we just need to manage that. Any questions, comments, or concerns? All right. If you have at your table those little pack um those little baggies, could you please put the little baggies back into the red container? Make sure everything's in there. Put it back into the red container and let's get packed up. 